Hola everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to see 30 days of React, a repository created by Asa Bain, who is a creator of JavaScript 30 as well. And we have very good response on JS30 uh, video, which I previously shared, where I shared how we can learn JavaScript 30 days. And in this video, we are going to see how we can learn React days in 30 days. So before starting with React days 30, if you are someone who is not done with the JavaScript thing or with not learn JavaScript yet, so still you can use this repository because the first day of the 30 days of React is JavaScript refresher. There are some main components of JavaScript which is highly used in React.js because React.js is nothing but the framework, a front-end framework of JavaScript which is maintained by Facebook, which is used to create uh, better UI components or better UI interfaces in websites or the web applications. So in the first day of the JavaScript refresher, you are going to learn internal script, external script, variable data types, arrays, and a lot of exercises you have to learn. Then loops, the main component, the functional programming as well, the for each loop. Here are the some good lists and the structuring, and there are some good topics you have to learn in JavaScript in very good way before starting with React. Just like uh, functions, exercises, loops, high order functions, destructuring, array, map, filter. These are the some good topics you have to learn which uh, are very important. Uh, Fetch API is also very good topic you have to learn in JavaScript. So you will be, it's, it's easier to learn React JS if you good with uh, JavaScript. So this is the first day of summary and there are some good components you have to learn in React.js. So this video in a very short way, just introducing this repository to you. So if you are, if you are curious or if you are passionate about the JavaScript or you want to learn uh, how to build a scalable web application, you have to use this repository. And there are some good components which you have to learn is just like first the setting up of the access then the components are very important which is widely used prop proper routing with the properties just like you fetch or uh, some properties or extract some properties of the uh, any particular component to use independently then list map arrays conditional rendering then terminal operator is also used in the access and very good amount high order functions then the router is very very important then stage versus actual, uh, both are same, but like it's very easy to fetch data and work with APIs with the help of Axios, uh, which is also some sort of APIs. And then projects, projects are very important, books as well. And I highly recommend like after learning a React or learning with React, try to build some small amount of projects, which are going to help you to get better clarity of React.js, how it works and how you can set up React.js projects with the in PHP, React, React app, or the any web fans just like White or Bubble. So these are the some good practices you can do. And you can do and try to use uh like debugging your code and uh, while install the extra Chrome extension which supports the React development. So these are the some good practices you can and do. And if you really like, you can support the creator of this uh, repository through the PayPal. And yeah, these are the some communities they built, Telegram group, and yeah, there are pretty much things. And these are the requirements. You don't need uh, anything except the computer and internet, a browser for digital HTML spaces, intermediate levels. Yeah, definitely motivation or curious we think or we say if you want to learn programming. So these are the some. Um, uh, read my files. So there are some instructions which are given here, and yeah, this is the first day. The setup, install Node.js, and yeah, these are the all things you have to follow. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. Thanks for tuning in, and if you are really passionate, go through this repository. You are uh, be very thankful to me because there are a lot of things to learn. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.